All right, so I'm going to be using comply uh, data, so either you can use either vulnerability data or compliance data uh, to target specific endpoints uh, within my environment. Uh, so I'm going to go here to the vulnerability reports. You see here we have a Windows 10 vulnerability report. I've got one endpoint here with 398 high severity vulnerabilities. Uh, so I'm going to target this endpoint in my environment. Uh, so the first thing I want to do, uh, copy out this report hash. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go create a uh, targeting question uh, for these endpoints that we're interested in. Uh, so I'm just going to add a computer name. And then the information that we want to target, we can use this comply vulnerability aggregates uh, sensor. Uh, we want to look at the high severity vulnerabilities where they are greater than uh, 100, because again, you want to make this uh, you know, plausible for an actual environment. Uh, endpoints with over 100 high vulnerabilities would be something of interest. Uh, and we want to treat the data as uh, numeric uh, since we're focusing on the uh, greater than 100. Uh, add that. And then we're also going to add uh, so vulnerability aggregates again. And we want to focus on that one report hash uh, so we know we're only looking at uh, Windows 10 systems uh, from that specific vulnerability report. So we'll paste our hash in, apply that, go ahead and ask that question. I should just have that one endpoint uh, that returns results, and I do. So from here, uh, we can take this information and create a uh, computer group. So I've already gone ahead and done that. I have my Windows 10 high severity greater than uh, 100 computer group and save that information. Uh, and then I went ahead and created a uh, action group as well. So here I have Windows 10 high vulnerabilities uh, targeting that specific computer group that I just created. Uh, so now let's say uh, I want to quarantine all systems that have more than uh, 100 high severity vulnerabilities. Uh, you know, this can help the security of a network also reduce risk in the network if you have uh, if you're able to uh, quarantine off these uh, high risk systems so select as quarantine uh, select no look for apply windows ip set quarantine i'm just going to leave the defaults for now and i want this to reissue every uh, every hour and then i want to select that high vulnerability group that i created Show preview, and I should, that's the one endpoint I was expecting to see, and then go ahead and deploy action.